A lot of people believe electric cars are the future. Well, today we are playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 Electric DLC. Yes, this is the first electric car in my garage. The first one I've ever looked at. I have no idea how we're going to repair this. I have no idea whatsoever, but I'm excited to find out. I mean, I have a, a battery charger as well. Oh, 1%. Can I charge that? Oh, sweet. So it's literally just batteries. Okay. I thought that might be useful for <laughs> my new car. No. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, right. Let's have a look. How does it look inside? There's, there's not really much going on here. Two radiators. I've um, got the coolant, brake fluid, windscreen washer, EC, which looks broken to me. Oh, look at all these battery panels. Oh, wow battery modules because pretty much an electric car is a moving AA battery <laughs> that's pretty much what it is there's a few things going on back here as well whoa okay here's the the housing the gearbox what's this that looks damaged front end housing so do I have to bring the car back down and then go to the rear. This might take me quite a long time, this repair. Honestly. Um, yeah, it may take me quite a long time indeed. Oh, it's the fake 350. I don't want that anymore. What a joke. Ah. Engine cover. Do I take that off? And then I can look inside. Okay. Very interesting. All right, let's do a few little tests. Just to see, I tried to run this car. Uh, it, it doesn't. It doesn't work. There's a battery that's probably dead. <laughs> it just won't start. Oh, ECU Type B. Yeah, I noticed that already. Actually, one of the battery modules is gone. Okay, interesting knowledge. Thank you. Uh, let's check the. Electronic multimeter, which may tag up a few interesting dilemmas, things to fix. Medium fuse, A, C, relay. Is that fuse box in the front or is that in the back? The actual battery looks fine. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. And there's a bunch of body panels which need to be fixed as well. Uh, any more tests we can do before we uh, go crazy? We can check the tyres. Still, of course, looking to get that XP, of course. It's not too important right now. I'm more worried about the money now. That's, that's, my, that's the most important aspect. I do want to eventually buy my own car. So that's, that's, that's the goal right now. Uh, anything here? Definitely some uh, dodgy brake calipers here. Are they literally the same as like a normal road car? I know obviously it stores, generates energy when it breaks. I'm guessing it must look a bit different. Oh, it looks fairly normal. Okay. That's a surprise. Also, this battery, I can take this off and I can... Now charge it. This is a new um, upgrade I've done recently. Uh, remove the battery, put the battery there. 100%, that was at 1% a second ago. It's now completely A-OK. -okay. It's fully charged. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can put that back in now, there we go. Is this the fuse box here? Yeah, can I get to that? Can I not take it off? Apparently not. Okay. Try that again. There we go. Don't know what I did there. There, sh there should be a few issues in here. 66%. 20%. So I can add that to my shopping list. Take that out. Oh, that's a bad one. Type C. Uh, again, add to shopping list. Anything else gone? 62%, 64%. Yeah, it all looks okay apart from that. So what I'll do 
while I'm here is get rid of my Nissan parts. And yes, we might fix, it will depend on how long this takes. I might fix that GTR there as well. It's, it's not a big job, it's just, it's a, it's a smaller job, but still. Be quite fun to do, wouldn't it? Just a brake, brake change basically. A brake fix. All right, let's bring this fuse box back online. Put these back. There we go. So that's now fixed. Beautiful. Let's go and fix these brake calipers. I'm doing this a bit long-winded, but obviously it's a new DLC. I don't really know what I'm doing right now, so we're just sort of winging it right now, really. Uh, this is where I hate working on multiple cars because parts get a little bit confusing. It is a little bit annoying. And the other job I'm doing right now is a story job, so it's, it's quite tricky. Uh, so I need some brake pads. Is that all I need? And a brake disc? No, I don't think that's a part of... No, I don't think I do. Just brake pads. Brake pads it is. Yeah, this is the most long way, the long-winded way of doing it. Especially when you spell brakes wrong. Absolute idiot. Brake pads, there we go. I feel like that GTR is so distracting. <laughs> So distracting. Is that, is that you changing? Nah, 60% is not too bad. Should be all right. I know one of those battery modules. Is that just a screw that's rusty? I hope so. Oh, this is a complete waste of time. <laughs> right, we'll leave that for now. Uh, this side needs sorting out as well. Car status, so that's been changed. There's still a couple of engine faults I've not worked out. Hmm. And a bunch of body panels to change as well. Yeah, a bit concerned about these two. Because I've not worked it out just yet. Let's take this room off. So brake discs, brake calipers. All need a little update, a little repair job. It definitely changes it up, having something different to do, having a completely different vehicle. I don't know if they've ever done hybrids before. That'd be quite interesting to do. Bit of electric power, a normal engine as well. Could be quite intriguing. Yeah, those, these brake discs are gone. The vamoose. Vamoose, vamoose. Yeah, I don't know if electric cars ab ab sort of abuse their brakes a bit more. That could be an issue. Just making stuff up now, really, but... This side looks okay. Well, I believe that should be all the brake issues dealt with. Yes. <laughs> good, good stuff. Um, right, ECU, I've seen that already. That's at the front. That's that module right there. I doubt we can repair that, but I'll have a quick look anyway. I'm, um, yeah, because it's new. Nope. Not not a mass not a massive surprise there. Add to list. Go to the tablet. That should be in the electronics department. Oh, ouch! Ouchie! That's an expensive part. <laughs> Let me put that back in. Uh, where did it go again? There it is. Right, so there seems to be an, an issue with the engine at the back here. I'm not quite sure. I guess that housing is an issue. So we'll take this cable off first. There's a big ass cable. Uh, let's get under the car for that. Okay. And we've got a battery to change as well. Bunch of body panels. Take this off. What's that AC compressor? I don't know what that does. I mean, my knowledge of cars is terrible anyway, let alone electric cars. 
Um, accessible from the engine bay. Oh. Fair enough. Come back down here. Let me have a look at you. There's no obvious other issues. And apparently there's two engine issues. Maybe it could be something as simple as a cable or... I don't know. I would love to see Tesla DLC as well. Yes, please. With the cherry on top. Right, so what I might do, because I'm so useless here apparently, is there any issues that crop up from the examination? Nope. Have we, I mean, I think I can see is that battery just there. I'm gonna have to dismantle this engine a bit more because I, I cannot work it out. Look at how big these cables are. That's a bit rusty. You know, well, that's a, a sign. There might be issues nearby. Uh, it looks okay. The engines actually look more simple. Simpler in many ways. 67%. Again, I'm not really seeing any issues. There's a hidden issue and I can't find it. I don't really want to take apart the whole engine. If I can avoid it. Uh, okay, there's stuff inside. I am absolutely clueless right now. That was such a tiny part. Oh, look at all these screws. And there is a bit of rust here. I, I, that does hint sometimes. I'm in the right area. I will find it. I will suss it out eventually. Obviously, once you've done a couple of electric cars, it, it starts to become a bit easier. Uh, I can get under the car apparently for that. Okay. Take this axle off. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but might as well. You can see where Stopping the car, breaking the car, generates energy, I think, and goes into the batteries. I don't know. I'm sure that's how it works. And obviously you have to charge it. Occasionally. There was a point in time I was I was tempted by maybe getting a Tesla. Um, I haven't got one. I, I, I'm sort of backed out, really. Central housing. I don't know what I've missed here. Have you found it? No, nope, part not discovered still. Where is this mystery part? That is concerning. I've pretty much dismantled the whole car and I still can't find it. I mean, the gearbox is here. Look at all these screws. Nah, you're, you're joking right now. How many screws does one part of the car need? <laughs> I think I might cry. Oh, so bad. I swear, if it's at the front end of the car, I might actually cry. Oh, I found it. I found it. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Well done. Wow, that was hidden. So what part is that? Reduction gear. All right, I'm gonna put that on my shopping list. I'll take that off. But yeah, that's definitely what we had to repair. And it looks like we have to definitely buy it as well. I'm in the wrong department. There we go. Boom! Now we can put it back together. Go me. Exactly what I'm doing. Lift the car up. You have to sort of lift the car up and down quite a bit. Where it's quite a confined space at the back. It's a little bit awkward. It is. I won't lie. It's a bit tricky. Look at all these screws. How many screws is this? Three, six, nine, twelve screws. What the? Beep. <laughs> Beep. 
beep, beep, beep. Yeah, this is why you need to upgrade the screwing skill. What the? This actually hurts. This is painfully slow. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys watch this. Enjoy. <laughs> Uh, axles back on. Obviously pretty important. Uh, I'll put the tire just on yet. And that battery module needs to be changed as well, doesn't it? So that's, of course, under the car. Alright. Put that on the old shopping list. Oh! Oh, that is painful. Yeah, that's why about it. If your car does, if you're outside the warranty and you have an electric car, that's when I do get a bit worried. Like fixing it would cost a ton. And finding a mechanic which actually wants to work on it, again, it's a bit of a worry. Can I please go back to normal? There we go. Done. Nice new battery. I'm guessing a bit like an iPhone, the batteries obviously wear down over time. And yeah, I don't know, did they get a bit, a bit slower? They don't fill up as much. The capacity gets smaller. Again, when I say this sort of stuff, please don't take it as gospel because it, it definitely isn't. Ah! The man sounds like to keep lifting this car back up. <laughs> It's my first time, okay? It's my first time. No, I don't want to put that on yet. There go. More screws. <laughs> I hope I get paid well for this. I feel like I deserve it. It's been a big old job. We're almost there, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, this is the thing that was broke. Yeah, 6%. Sometimes things are just so broke, you can't repair them. You just need to buy a new one. See, those screws aren't too bad, because they're nice and short. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can put that on. Yep. Still need to do some bits under the car as well. Must admit, the batteries do look quite nice. And the fact they're sort of in the middle does add a bit of nice balance to the car. Because batteries are not light. In some ways, electric cars are a little bit more simpler, but in other ways, they're completely more complex. It really does depend on the part, really, doesn't it? Uh, put that on. I am really, I'm such a noob right now. I need to go under the car, don't I? Yep. Up again. I mean, the amount of energy I'm using just putting the car up and down. I wish I was joking. Is that it? Is it in? There's another cable there. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure there's a cable there. I'm sure of it. I've got to change all the body panels as well yet. Oh boy. Well, I think that's it. Plenty of coolant. There we go. Uh, and brake fluid, wasn't it? And then we're going to start looking at the panels. They do look rusty. The thing that what I like about repairing body parts is also if you repair a body part, it's still painted. It does look so much better. Right, so, take that off. Take the front bumper off. Take the wing mirror off. What else have we got? That light looks gone. It looks so hollow. Empty. That's not too bad, actually. There's a bit of body 
damage there. I don't know if I can get it off though. Can I repair that? Like the actual body itself looks damaged. Yeah, some parts aren't too bad. Does it mention the body on the list? Just taking every body part off. <laughs> um, it doesn't. Okay. Okay then, let's get to the repair station. Let's do some work. Fenders! Oh, this go horribly wrong. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. That initial first repair is terrifying. It really is. Because <laughs> if you screw it up, the part's damaged. And you got to rebuy it. Brand new. Wrong colour. I don't have a painting bay yet. Uh, go on, I'll repair these as well. Why not? You don't get paid extra for this, but... I want to be. I want to be a good man. I want to. I want to help him out a little bit. So there's definitely certain body parts we have to actually buy. Annoyingly, which is a bit. That kind of sucks a little bit. But there we go. All right. Assemble. Front bumper. Oh, one percent. Okay. Can't put that on. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Did I do the door as well? I repair quite a few parts. First, the trunk. I've now brought that. Side mirror. Beautiful. Left headlight. Bumper. I was actually expecting some of these parts to be a little bit more expensive. They're not too bad. So these are not going to be coloured. No! No, no, no. See, licence plate. Look at that, that's wrong. That is so wrong. Yes, yeah, put it straight back on. That's fine. Door? Yep. Wing mirror, trunk, and license plate. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, so tower light and side mirror. Yep. What tower light was gone? They both look fine, actually. It's 29%, okay. That one's fine though. Let's so add that to the shopping list. Uh, towel light. There we go. Done. Dun dun dun. Assemble. Nice new one. Right, now we good. We are. Do I take? Do I take this to the paint shop? Maybe I should. How much does it cost? 15 grand to do a paint, oh, paint work on it. And that's not a part of the job though. So I might just leave it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea if these are even the right rims. That's a little bit embarrassing. I've been so bad with rims late, lately. I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't think they're the classic ones. This is not a classic car. So I'm just presuming um, that's the case. And hopefully we're okay. We're not going to paint it. We're going to leave it. Okay. There is an engine cover missing. I think you might actually be right. There we go. Oh, 1%. Oh, did I damage it? I don't remember that being an issue. Do, do, do I need to do I need to buy that? Did I damage it? Weird. Engine cover. I don't remember that being an issue, but there we go. 
It was unlisted. Unless I damage it somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. Right, is that done now? Are we good? Yay! We did it! We did it! Yeah! Not bad. So I believe this is literally just a break job, right? Oh, part not discovered. Ooh, I'm guessing that's probably... Yeah, the ABS module's completely gone. We can sort that out, it's fine. Yeah, this should be quite an easy job, I'd imagine. Famous last words. <laughs> uh, right, uh, what do I want to do now? Do some additional tests? Can we fix that ABS module? No, we can't. Need to buy a new one then. All right, let's take off these GTR rims. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so cool. I love them. Yeah, these calipers are gone. They're completely gone west. Uh, any issues in here? It's hard to tell. I'll take the rim off anyway. Man, I so badly won this car. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Yep, this side is completely gone. Break discs. I've seen better days. Break calipers are gone. Oof. Might better fix these. I think the brake discs have to be above 10%. Brake pads as well, that, yeah, that's not going to be fixed. <laughs> uh, and brake calipers are gone in here. What have you been doing to this car? Maybe a track day? That's true. This car is definitely good enough for the track. You have some fun days in this for sure. Right, but that's all the stuff we need to take off, repair and repurchase. Uh, oh man, we can't fix any of the calipers. Really? Oof. Rough. And no brake discs as well. Ouchie, this is going to be a very expensive bill. Very expensive. So calipers, brake discs, brake pads, calipers, calipers, ABS module. I think that's all of it. I should get like a, a discount by now, surely. The amount of parts. I've bought is insane. Is it just one? I think I need more than just one, but it doesn't matter. I've got my tablet, so if I need to purchase an item quickly, I can. ABS module. I'm in the wrong place. I always do that. Yeah, the main shops I go to, car parts and electronics. Tune up, look at all this stuff. Oh, Oh, I can't wait to go in here and spend some money. Oh, it's going to be good. There's still so much I want to do in this game. So much. It's ridiculous. I'll get there eventually. It just takes so long to earn money in this game. Can't believe I'm fixing a GTR. I know it's a simple job. It's not an engine repair or anything like that. But still, that's a, that's a pretty... Pretty big deal. The GTR. Damn. <laughs> it's so hard in the UK to find one that's not been basically tuned with within an inch of its life. Um, yeah. I know I sound really boring, but I'm not not really interested in that at all, really. I want to stop GTR, and that's more than enough for me. I know I sound boring, but screw you. <laughs> uh, is that all the jobs we need to do? Yep. Gonna have to say bye to the GTR. <laughs> yep, it's off, it's gone. I'm gutted. I barely earned anything for that. Wow. <laughs> you insult me.
yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We fixed our first electric car and our first GTR. Madness. I would say, oh, one sec. That's a new Tesla-inspired electric car. That might be good for the next episode. There it is. Yeah, it definitely looks like a Tesla. Oh, we've got to fix this as well. The S15. Of course. Yeah, the next episode's going to be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.